folks. We are going to need a place to shower. Thus far, we have been just pouring water over top of ourselves on this pallet because there's so much sand. If you pour water over yourself in the sand, you're just going to get sand all up to your knees. So we've been pouring water over ourselves. And looking at our timeline, we're leaving tomorrow for Texas. So I'm not going to get to build the shower right away. A um, few other things are going to happen. i got to get surgery on my eye. not sure what's going to happen. But when we're down here, we've got to have a place to shower. So I went and did this the other day. This is a lid, this little thin piece here is a lid from one of our jerry cans. And then this is just a half inch fitting with a rubber washer and a flange nut. And of course this is half inch PVC, a PVC ball valve, and then a half inch fitting, and then a regular old shower head. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, got flies on my camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a shower and wrap it in tarp. And I hate losing this water. It's not going somewhere productive, but as you can see, we have been, we've been showering here. But I'm going to build it to where I can put one of those jerry cans up on top with that attached to it and we can take a shower because just dumping over head we're losing quite a bit of water so i want to try and conserve water a little bit so what you're going to see next is i'm going to set up a tripod and i'm going to attempt to build a little shower for us so that we can take and take a shower while we're here Jug. Growing up, I didn't have a whole lot of money to just go to the store and buy something that I wanted. I had to learn how to make it, build it with whatever I had laying around. And later in life, it's given me a ability to be able to make do with whatever I've got in order to get the job done. I never will forget when I was about 11 years old, I wanted a machete in the worst way. And at the time they were only about $10. So I hunted around in a junk pile that was over behind a house that we rented and I found a table leg. And at that time I had never seen a blacksmith or knew anything about forging. But I knew if I flattened that table leg out, I could take and 
make it look like a machete. It was an old metal table leg off of those old 60 style tables. So I took a hammer and I flattened it out. And then I found a bicycle grip and I put it on the end of it and I used it. I cut horse weeds with it. I cut limbs with it. Did a lot of things with it and it would get bent. It wasn't the strongest, but I would take and I would just straighten it back out, go back to work. So I'm going to put these pieces of block up here. But don't drop Butterfinger. Up back here so I can put another tube of six on. I'll show it to you after I get it fixed. I think one of the keys in life to being happy is being versatile. If you give me a mansion, and tile, and thin set, and grout, I can build you a shower that'll knock your eyes out. But if I ain't got that, give me a pallet and some two befores and a jerry can, and I'll make a shower that'll get you clean. This is the revised version. Mama wanted a little bit more covering, so we took and added a shower curtain. It'll hide your hiney, except for right here, of course. That's right up here against the tent, so somebody had to really be peeking to see. Hopefully we ain't got nobody like that around. 
but I think it'll work. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. If you like what you're seeing, we would appreciate you subscribing, like, share us around on social media. And until next time, we'll see you down the road.